Welcome to my room tour. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the kind of stuff I'm doing behind the scenes with my studio. Now, let's get a little bit of context out of the way. I have been a die-hard Star Wars fan my entire life. I didn't just buy all of this at once. This was the culmination of 15 years of collecting. This is not actually my entire collection. I don't have my entire Lego collection here, but this is most of it. I'm probably missing about 10-ish, 15 sets, which do include my Death Star from, I think it's the 2008, and the Ewok village both of those are not in this collection i just don't have the means to move them and i don't really have the space as you'll see in a second to put those giant sets in my studio so let's take a look at my studio so you enter through here and this room does not really have a door so we have a closet door right here that we close it's a little loud but we put a blanket on the top here to kind of signify that hey i'm recording in here and it sort of muffles audio from the outside rest of the house pretty decently well but you walk in and this is the view that you are welcomed with now we don't have any of the lights on so i'll show you guys all that in a second but usually it's kind of cool for a lot of people to just walk in and see this long full room of just star wars crap so uh, i guess we can start up here get kind of the quick stuff out of the way i have a couple funko pops lying around uh, with a bunch of books these are a bunch of star wars books at the top i also have some lego minecraft sets and a broken x-wing over here uh, these are all the art of books and we keep kind of moving along to more random books these are my comic books I have here. This would take a long time to go through. So I'm not gonna show you every single little thing, but I'll show you how it's all kind of organized. So this is a bunch of right here, my favorite Batman run. The Court of Owls, love them. I have the mask up here. So up until about what here? Yes, up until here is all, this is all DC. This here is the inf entire original Infinity Gauntlet run. Uh, I got this at a convention. I love this series, it's great. And from here to about here is all Marvel. And then from here, we have all of this being Darth Vader stuff. And then the rest of this is just general Star Wars comics. Now here, we have a bunch of younger books that I used to read when I was a kid, along with these <laughs> warrior books and Magic Treehouse. And I have Lego Minecraft also sitting in the front of that. And here, I have a couple of sealed sets I wanna sell, along with these collector series. Uh, old doll things I kind of want to sell. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really have too much of a use for them. Uh, I thought they were going to be cooler than they were when I first bought them. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to get some more 80s memorabilia, but alas, it was a little bit of a mistake and I kind of want to get rid of them. This is kind of my box. I just kind of want to throw stuff into that I want to sell. I have like a Nexo Knights thing, an extra General Grievous Bionicle down there, uh, another random Bionicle thing. I don't know. Stuff I want to get rid of, you know. Over here, we have a bass. I'm actually a, I guess I used to be a musician, play the bass. I uh, haven't in a while, but I'm still pretty decent at it. And then here is a bunch of Lego sets I still actually have to build. I got the ATTE, I got the Justifier, uh, the Speed Champions, Dom Toretto car, the promo for May 4th, I'm pretty sure, um, the Mandalorian Forge, and then back here I have this Black Panther set I need to build too. Back here I also have, I'm pretty sure this came out in like 2008, 2009 when the Clone Wars start, first started airing. This is a gunship and I absolutely love this set. I used to play with this so much, so I just had to keep this on display somehow and I don't really have any other room for it other than right where it's sitting. Then we move to the other side of the room and we have a bunch of statues. This is a Black Series centerpiece for Darth Vader, a limited edition Grand Inquisitor piece, and then I don't even know what these are but um, they're like magnetized. I think some of them might be from Sideshow. I don't know. I don't really know what these are, to be honest. Um, oh, whoops. And then we, here we have a Rocket and Groot. Uh, I actually think this is a Christmas ornament. Yes. Now here we have my Sideshow figures. We have a, a Deluxe 501st Trooper, uh, the Mythos Old Ben, Darth Maul, the Batman Beyond Arkham Knight suit, and then Django. And then here we have my Bionicles. We have Darth Vader, Grievous, Django, K2SO, Cody, Raiden Trooper, Darth Maul, Death Trooper, and then some Hero Factory stuff. I don't really know. And then down here, we have just a bin full of random stuff. Here we move on to my gaming setup, which is like my Xbox and stuff, I guess, because I usually use my PC now, but I'll just call this the gaming setup for now. We have some headphones up here that I used to use, earbuds, wireless, all that stuff, old headphones. Skylanders. <laughs> I used to be so big into these, and we don't really have any other place for these, so we kind of just threw them up here. 
and it works perfectly because it's pretty much full to the brim just at the right amount of Skylanders and it's at the perfect position with the TV. So honestly, this worked out great. Below that we have Lego Dimensions. This was super fun. I wish they made a second one. And then below that we have some Disney Infinity play set pieces and then some of the games that we used to have on our Xboxes. We have the 360, the one, we had the original Wii, my old PC, and the Nintendo Switch, which is not in a spot right now, but we do have one. And here's the controllers. And then here are our old Wii games. I used to play the crap out of the Wii. Loved almost pretty much all of these games, actually. Man, that LEGO Star Wars 3 was my favorite. It still is one of my favorite games of all time. Now we have my Disney Infinity Collection. We have Barbosa on top, some more headphones, of course. And then I think this is all organized by the bottom layer of whatever they're standing on. So I don't really know if there's an order to that. But that's how we organized it. I also used to play the crap out of this game. And I think I maxed Ant-Man and Venom in like the first couple days that I got them. I love this game so much. So a cool thing about our couch is it actually lights up blue. So if we turn the lights off real quick here, the entire room slowly goes to black. And then you can't really see it too well because we have the light on outside, but the entire room is just illuminated blue from the bottom of the couch. And it's pretty cool. I really like our couch. Now we get into the juicy bit of my studio. Starting over here, we have a chess set and then the original Kenner Ewok Village. Uh, this was gifted to me by my father when he first got it in 82, 81. I don't know when this came out, but super cool to have that. I have all the figures with that set too. Awesome to have a Star Wars poster. These are all the boxes for my sideshow stuff over there. And down here, we have what I wanted to start showing you guys is my new Lego piece sorting system. So I have a bunch of bricks I put in this little container and I sort them out into Ziploc bags. Uh, these are all organized into different pieces and sizes and colors and whatever. I also have a bunch of these organized like this in here. I know none of this will look organized to you guys. It looks like I'm just throwing stuff in random bags. Haven't finished this yet. But I mean, all of this has been organized into a one way or another. It all makes sense to me. <laughs> that's that's what's important. Put it in Ziploc bags for now. And uh, I'll use that to make some cool Lego stuff later. Uh, but right now it's just kind of a process of getting it all sorted out because I have so many tubs. This is just one tub full of Lego. I have another one over here full of Lego I still need to organize and a couple of these shelves in here I need to sort through as well. Um, got some broken sets in there. But let's go back over here to the rest of this tour in order. To the top shelf here, I have a bunch of big sets I don't really have any room for. All these Star Wars sets that are sort of cool and rare. Over here we have the Light Cruiser, Episode 9 Falcon, the Ghost and the Phantom. We have the Resistance Bomber, the Inquisitor Transport Ship, the Bad Batch Shuttle, the 2013 Gunship, and yeah, that's just the light cruiser behind the gunship. So I'm not gonna point out every little thing on all of these shelves, but basically all of these shelves are just lined with different Lego stuff I've collected over the years. A lot of it being Batman, this was supposed to be like a more DC focused shelf, but it, it kind of got, you know, a little disorganized because of just how much Lego I need to throw in here. Uh, I mean, I, I have the new Obi-Wan Jedi Interceptor or Starfighter buried under other sets at this point just because of how little room I have, unfortunately. And this pattern also continues on the opposing shelf. I have a Grievous head from Galaxy's Edge, Mando helmet, some cool Clone Wars figures, and Incinerator Trooper helmet. And then we have some of these brick heads, some of the helmets, and then the Infinity Gauntlet. Here we have the other side of these, so a bunch of just cool clones I put in there that I really liked. And then I'll show you more Lego sets. Again, I'm not gonna point out every single little Lego set because that would just take forever, but I absolutely just love this collection. I've been doing this for so long and I love how I've been displaying it, but I'm honestly running out of room and I need to figure that out quickly. I'm considering getting more shelves, but I'll figure out a new sorting system pretty soon. So there's just a bunch of random stuff over on this shelf too. A lot of helmet focused stuff, as you can see, and I need to figure all of that stuff out soon. So here is the Pride and Joy. This is my PC setup. I have a Blue Yeti mic. Um, I don't really know what kind of keyboard this is, but I had to assemble it. I don't really know what mouse this is. I don't really know electronics. I need some new monitors. 
and sorry, I recorded you all, but I, I need some new monitors. I want, kinda wanna get 4K monitors. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. I need to upgrade the video quality, but we'll just have to wait and see if I can actually afford that anytime soon. And then here is my PC next to my headphones, controller, and my car. My PC is custom built. I think this was around three grand. It's a huge upgrade from my old one in the old setup, which was about one and a half less than that actually grand. I can run a lot of games that I wasn't able to before on this thing. And it's been such an asset to my YouTube journey. And I would highly recommend any YouTuber get a PC at some point because it really just transforms everything in the process. Behind me here, I do actually have my green screen. So it just opens up like this. I'm pretty sure this is the Elgato one. I kind of have to pull forward on the side here so it doesn't hit my shelves or my black series here. It comes forward. And then once it gets to the top, you let go and then boom, it's not hitting any of my black series. We'll look at this in a second, but as you can see, my camera, it actually had to move it the other day for something, but usually it's right about here. This is the Logitech Brio points here where I'm sitting, captures the green screen perfectly, but I'll show you with the lights on now. Okay. So here we go. The green screen is being illuminated. Usually I have the lights on above, so it doesn't look like it's all gloomy like this, but I turned it off just so you guys can see what the light looks like in the studio. It's, it is pretty bright. I'll be honest. Usually I also don't have this tub here, but the lights underneath the desk glow. I usually have it rainbow like this. Also like to do that with the lights back here. It runs all the way along here to the other side back there. And I think it just looks spectacular. I love what I did with the lights in this room. Now to put the green screen away, you just grab the little handle here. Pull forward again a little bit so you don't hit the shelf on the way down. And then, boom, all done. Now, we can take a look at my Black Series. We have, well, a lot of Black Series. I'm not gonna go over all of them by name because that would take like a half hour. I've tried to do it before for a video and I couldn't even do that. A lot of people were actually upset on the second channel that I didn't show every single Black Series that I had. That would literally would have taken so long. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna skim over it. We kind of have it organized on this side. It's all the old box stuff on this side, the new box here. We have some of the more special figures that are out of the main lineup. Um, so I'll, I'll just go through this and show you that. Uh, we have a bunch of figures I've taken out of the boxes. So up until about, oh, this point where Wrecker is, I kind of take a lot of my figures out of the boxes, not all of them, but the ones I know I'm not gonna sell, like I'm not gonna sell the Bad Batch. I like having all of them complete. I don't have Echo yet to be fair, but when I get all of them, I don't really wanna sell them. So I'm just gonna take them out of the box and then keep the box if I wanna put them back in. I also did that with Mando over there. You'll see in a second, but I'm not really too worried about keeping it all in the box sealed because I'm not gonna sell most of this. And if I do sell it, I still have the box, it'll be fine. A lot of the things down here that I wanna sell are pushed back. Most of them are still sealed because I know I wanna sell them. So I don't have to worry about which ones are opened, which ones I should sell maybe in the future. I don't know, I already have it all figured out just by this sorting system. So I'll show you this a little bit here. This has taken a lot of time. A lot of this I've gotten on resales or second market a lot of it i did not pay full price or i've gotten as gifts because people know i've been collecting these and it's super cool to be able to have just a huge black series collection like this i also don't know if i showed you this but i have these up here which is pretty cool i'm a huge clone wars fan so i just had to have these repackaged six inch special figures now down here we continue we get into the hundreds we have the full d section here before they switch to the new box and then we have a bunch of exclusives here and then we get into the special shiny colored boxes. And then at the end, we have an extra General Grievous that I'm definitely going to stop. Now we get onto my shelves over here. So I've been building this giant minifigure stand up here. If you guys have caught up with the channel recently, I know I've showed you this on a live stream before. I've been putting my Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, Ninjago figures, and then city figures all on this display thing. Because I thought it would be really cool to show you guys actually how many extra figures I have that aren't Star Wars or Marvel or DC, which are also down there. So I'm not done with it. I still have to put all of these figures on this side and I haven't finished building this side, but this is actually detachable right here. I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand because it usually takes a lot of force and two hands and be very careful so it doesn't all fall apart. But right here, there's a technique that separates the Lego movie from the Ninjago stuff right there. So I also did that on the second side. I just don't have all the pieces to finish that. So in here, we have a bunch of vehicles for my three and three quarter inch Clone Wars figures. Mostly, obviously you can do that with vintage collection, but I don't have any open vintage collection figures. A bunch of Lego and 
again, these three and three quarter figures uh, that I'm just gonna show you through the shelves. So here we have a bunch of costumes and it looks like a couple cars here. Here is where my new 212th ATTE is gonna go, uh, but some more Lego there, more Lego here. And here we have more kids toys, I guess. I also have a little bit of GI Joe, I think. That's also from my father's collection. Here we have more Lego and then here, it's more kids toys, perfect. Here we have my Slave One box for vintage collection. My lightsabers from Galaxy's Edge, and then that one's, I think, from Target. I have a Galaxy's Edge Mace Windu lightsaber there. Then we get on to my favorite part of the collection, which is my Lego minifigures. I have, I last time I counted, over a thousand, I don't know the exact amount anymore, but I have over a thousand Lego Star Wars minifigures, and this has taken so much time to get together and so much money but so worth it. This is so cool to look at. Like, just stand back and look at this. It's so cool to have this, like, in person. I, the camera's not doing this justice. These are good guys, you know, that don't fit into a row. These are Mandalorians. These are good guy species. This is Resistance here. This is also Resistance. This is Rebellion. Rebellion. A lot, of, mostly pilots and rebel troopers, but... We have named rebel characters. We have like more of the main rebel heroes here. Uh, here we have rebel droids, like good guy droids, I guess. And then we have good guy R2 units and astromech units and whatever. And then we have five or six rows of clones. Maybe actually, hold on. It's seven rows of clones. <laughs> um, all these blank spots here you see are because I'm going to put a clone there. So like here, Omega is going to go here. My second Hunter is going to go there. My phase two Cody is going to go there. So all of these blank spots have a purpose because I'm going to put clones in there. Here we have my green clones. Here we have my normal clones, pretty much. Here we have Wolfpack, Recon, Gunners, you know, company clones. Here we have red clones, purple clones, yellow clones, Genosis, all 212. And then we have the Bad Batch, Pilots, Senate Guards, all 501st. And then we have Rex at the front there. Now here we have four rows of Jedi. I'll just quickly go over this. I'm not going to go through this specifically because this all is just kind of sorted on its own. Just a bunch of Jedi there. We have two row of Dark Side characters. I'll just also quickly go over that because... I'm not gonna spend forever going through every single figure. If you want me to do a more in-depth review of all of these figures, let me know, because I would be more than happy to show all of you. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Here we have, what, six, one, two, three, four, five, five, yeah, six rows of Imperials. This is my officers here. And then a bunch of stormtroopers, stormtroopers. Then here we get into specialist troopers. Then we get into darker armored troopers, special troopers. Pilots, Scarif, Snow, Mud, Death, and then we have more pilots. Then we have more special troopers. Then we get into the first order here, which is three rows. Here we go. These three Phasmas in there. These are my officers, I guess. This is pretty much all my officer row up until, well, here, because these are all just troopers at the front here. But yes, we have a bunch of first order right there. Then we get my droids all up here. These are technically four rows of droids, but I've collapsed them because I don't have enough room. And then the droids continue right here. These are kind of like the brick built and then minifigure droids up until about here. Then we get some of the bigger figures. So the Dubak Jabba, a spider droid, the thing from Jakku, the Dianoga, the vulture droid. And then it kind of gets a little random in here. We have bounty hunters up here. We have separatists right here. We have random, evil, cool looking troopers right there. And then we kind of have gang people. I don't know, outlaws right there. And these are kind of neutral characters that I don't really have anywhere to put in the rest of the collection. So yes, it's a lot of organizing, but it makes all sense to me. And I have the blank spots to put in the new troopers that I want to put in. I get, I guess I have like another one for Cad Bane and Fennec over there, but you get my point. Mostly it's for clone troopers because I'm getting a bunch of those in. But yeah, up here we have a bunch of custom troopers like the Cody and the these right here. This is minifigs for you. And these are uh, clone army customs. Then we have Harry Potter through there. Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, all through there. Now I'll quickly show you some more of my Lego sets. Again, I'm not gonna go over all of these because this would take forever. Uh, this is where my minifigure parts are. So it's just like if I find parts for a minifigure, I'll throw them in here. And if I have time, I'll try and assemble new minifigures that I know I'm missing and could potentially get done. More sets, more sets. This is my actual Mace Windu lightsaber. There it is, my Mace Windu lightsaber. 
This is a May 4th promotional poly bag that I'm actually gonna have to put on the other side of the room because I think I'm gonna sell it. Then we have a bunch of, well, 501st battle packs and a couple of other clone stuff. We have DVDs. And then this is a knockoff Lego set of the U of M stadium. I used to live in Michigan, huge Michigan fan. I haven't built it because the pieces are tiny, but it is a cool set to have sitting on my shelf. Now this here is my superhero collection. This is Marvel and DC combined. I kind of just like combining them. I think it's super cool. I like both of the properties quite a lot. I just think it's cool to combine them. I'm not going to go through every single thing here, but you can kind of get a look at kind of like how I have everything displayed here. I usually have like one of every character on here. I have a bunch more like different variations of different characters, especially Batman and Superman lying around, but that's just not on display right here. Here we have more sets here. A couple more things here with board games back here. We have some Republic tanks here and my Anaxis mock. So basically I decided I wanted to start building some Legos and I wanted to build the interior of Anaxis. Uh, I don't really know why this piece right here is sitting here. I put all of my Clone Army custom figures on here, made a cool little black frame, and it's just the interior of an axis. Honestly, it's not 100% done because I still haven't done this yet, but I'm kind of sorting through the pieces right now. I don't really like how this side looks of the area of the hanger, so I'm gonna try and maybe redo that too. But overall, I think it looks pretty nice, especially from like my first actual mock. Lego game, I guess, this is like a boat piece, and then we have the Ninjago dragon thing that's like completely falling apart. All right, we're almost done here. We got a couple of boxes back there for some of the figures you saw and carded uh, Revenge of the Sith stuff. I got a cool thing back there. I don't really know what it is, but I liked it. Um, we have the Boba Fett Slave 1, some Lego sets, and then we have the only vintage collection I've taken out, which is my Kylo Ren. And we have Black Series Mando with a dark saber. And then we have some more Lego sets back here. Back there, we have the 2003 Clone Wars DVD collection. Now, I'm not going to show you what's in these because, one, they're actually not my stuff. I'm just not going to show you stuff that's not mine in my studio. Here, we have some of my Marvel and DC figures and some Lego Ninjago mechs in the back with this gunship here. We have more Lego. <laughs> more Lego back there. It's kind of dark. I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but Lego back there. And then we move on to the rest of my Black Series here. We have all of these. Now these, I don't really have to take out and show you every single one of them because you can see them on the box. So I'm just going to walk down the line here and show you. Again, if they're pushed back, it means I kind of want to sell them. So we'll just walk along here. I've kind of stopped buying Black Series because they're really so expensive. They take up so much room. And honestly... Since they're starting to move into the cardboard box things, I don't really want to see them if I can't see like the window, you know? So I, I'm just kind of stopping to buy Black Series, to be honest with you. There's a couple I really want to get, like there's a Darth Maul and there's a Grand Inquisitor from Obi-Wan. But like besides that, I don't really know if I'm going to be collecting this as much as I used to. So considering selling some of this, not all of it, but not as into it as I used to be. Now back here, we have some of my vintage collection. You can't even see all of it because I just don't have room to display it all. But we have the Battlefront Arc Trooper, Maul, Ahsoka, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Wolf, Clone Trooper, Echo, Fives, and Rex. Rex is my favorite character, so I put him with the boys up in the front here. And then we have some more vintage collection. I'm not gonna name all of these. You guys can stop and look at the video, uh, but it, it would just take forever for me to stop and look at these. I think I wanna um, find a way to like stick them to my wall. I think that'd be a really cool way to do it. Um, but right now I don't really have the space or the time or money or resources to do that. I don't really know where I put them. Honestly, I've been thinking about that quite a bit recently and I'm thinking maybe I put them on this wall right here. So it's not the ceiling, but it's also not the wall. It's this blank space that was right there. And you wouldn't really see it in my setup, but it'd be really cool to walk in. Think about it. You walk into the room and then there's vintage collection figures all along there. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. Maybe even on this wall, but I don't really want to do that just in case I decide to move all this stuff and do something else with it. But these walls, I'm not really going to do anything with, right? So I don't know. Maybe I put them there. That's just what I'm thinking though. But yeah, that pretty much is my entire setup. It's taken so long to get this all to be in the place I want it to be. Now, keep in mind, like I said at the beginning, this is not everything in my collection. I didn't even show you any of my Funko Pops. I have walls of those, but this is just my gaming studio. I want to try and keep this channel about my gaming content, and this is where I game from. I don't really have any of the specs, so I'm sorry I can't really share any of that information with you, but this is what my entire studio looks like. 
when the cameras are off. And it's so fun to just look at and come in and organize stuff. I'll sit on this beanbag and just organize the Legos and look around for hours. And it's so fun. And I'm so thankful to be in the position that I am where I'm able to have a great room and look around and do cool things in like this room. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching up to this point. I hit my toe, shit. Okay. Whew. Okay, fucking hell.